everybody, we're under the sea stick and welcome back to the channel. Today I have pr procured a game for Katie to play. This is like the second time in the last hour she's like, Hey, I have a game I really want you to play! That last one wasn't as much of a surprise, but I told Katie to look up nothing about this game because I've heard it is quite an experience. And, and I've been working so literally can't. <laughs> My boss is cool, but so she still has rules she has to follow. That means I have rules I have to follow. <laughs> Yeah, so this is like a blind, blind ga date gaming thing. She's going in blind and she's gonna be a changed person when she leaves, I'm sure. Um, the sound in this is quite fucking creepy and I'm really excited for you to play, so... It's whatever. Okay. It's whatever you're ready, friend. Okay, okay awesome. My knees really got to my chest right now. <laughs> Might need this- can you hear everything good? Yes! Okay, I awesome. can hear! want to make sure because the sound is really is this an intro yeah is this <sighs> this the i hate the sound of people chewing so much it's oh it's so gross i hate when people chew with their mouth open that always gets me and so i guess you're just like a humble carrot farmer making just digging okay. up some carrots okay why, why is there a line i think it's probably to help you that yeah. doesn't help me click Give me the carrot. I have to click carrot. the carrot. Why do I have to click the carrot? Because the carrot is the most important, I suppose. Yeah, but why do I have to specifically click the carrot? What is going on? I don't know. That's what most farmers do when they plant carrots. They make sure they have a strip there so they know where to dig. Otherwise the carrot's like, no, fuck you, get away from me. <laughs> carrots are very temperamental, uh, I almost said fruits, vegetables. I just dug up five. Hey, there you go. So, I guess you're making carrots and cream now. Well, that's gross. It's not even like carrot and cream soup. It's just like literally. And cream. It's literally just. Oh, cream okay, but carrot. why am I doing this? What is the point of this game? You're um, not gonna tell me, are you? It really isn't a point. But I'll explain to you why it's a kind of an experience after. I just don't know, do you not have a thing with, like, sounds? Because this whole thing, like, the sensory, like, sound of it is making me really, like, uneasy. I used to work in kitchens. I've probably heard it all. Even, like, the... Ooh, what's that? I am earthworm. Oh, you were earthworm? Oh, that's an annoying control. You have to, like, drag... Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> earthworm! Okay, so are you trying to escape him or something? Because it seems like this person's trying to skewer you. I don't know. Trying to get to the carrot. Can you use any of the other controls for it or? Nope. You just gotta you just gotta mouse your way across. I guess it gives the urgency that you need for it. I don't like the blood. I like that it's just like a tiny. Oh, one. honey, you'd never like to play. I was playing Conqueror's Bad Fur Day the other day. Well, it's not even that. It's just, like, it literally, like, there's so much blood for, like, a little... Oh, you escaped it! No, but have you seen Conqueror's Bad Fur Day? No, I haven't. It's the only M-rated Nintendo 64 game. Oh. You know, I've never... Oh, you're doing good. You're eating his carrots. But, like, the reason it's M-rated is, like, there was one level I had a shotgun, and I had to go, like, kill zombies. And I I'm talking, like, Conquer, like, Nintendo 64 Conquer. Mm -hmm. And I had a fucking shotgun. And I had to go kill zombies. And, like, there's a level where I was, uh... I was transformed into a bat, and I had to, like, kill villagers to feed the big vampire bat who turned me into a bat. And you would, you would literally, like, pick them up, fly to this grinder, and drop them in, and they would, like, bleed to death, and this guy would eat their, like, eat their blood. Ew. That is crazy. It is... Like I say, it is the only Nintendo 64 game that has received an M rating. I'm not surprised. It sounds... The whole eating of blood thing sounds not so nice. One hell? of the boss battles is the uh, great giant... Oh my god. Or the giant... It's some sort of, like, literal, like... It's the giant sing... It's a giant piece of shit that sings. Oh my god. So like, it's a, it's a piece of poo that sings opera. That's I'm not dream, kidding, it's honestly. so funny. That's a huge carrot. Ugh. So yeah, it's like that fake blood and all that stuff, like, I literally don't care. <sighs> Cut 
god, yeah, it's just like, god, this huge carrot. Oh, gross. Oh no, a little worm. That's not a sound that worms make. Oh. Do I have to pluck him out or something? <sighs> What's happening? A lot of weird noises that I have a sense- Why did you make me play this? What the fuck is this game? <laughs> I, I don't know, I thought you'd be a little more freaked out by it. For me, it's a game that has this weird thing where it's like, it's very innocent, but it's portrayed in such a way that it's really creepy. Mm -hmm. Like, the sounds are creepy, like, the way that it has like crackly, old-timey, like, filter on it is creepy, and there's no point of it. I don't know, I look innocent, but like, these kinds of games don't bug me. I play the shooters, I play- I play Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, which I really want- I wish we could play that for the channel. We probably could. We probably could. It's, um, we did not spend a hundred dollars on it. My brother and I got in the Rare Replay pack on the Xbox One for oh, like 30 cool. bucks, so if we can record on there, we actually might be able to play. That's cool. Yeah, but the, for me, this was really gross. I hate weird noises, and I hate thing. I just think it's really weird and ominous. And for me, honestly, it's just like even the thought of like carrots and cream, and the thought that someone had to make this. That's always one of those things where it's like, yeah, even with even part. with weird movies, that I appreciate them more when I'm like, someone sat down for like a long period of time and made this. Like, if you've ever, I don't know, you've never seen Rocky Horror Picture Show, but there's a movie that was made, like, after it called Shock Treatment, mm. and it's, like, there, it's called an equal, but, like, when you watch it, you're like, who made this? Who wrote this? And I watched Repo the Genetic Opera, and someone came up with that. Well, someone, like, I understand the t concepts, but, like, even sometimes, like, lines that people say in movies, and you're like, someone sat down and was like... What are they gonna say next? And they say some fucking weird shit. And then the actor was like, I have no problem with this. I will say this line. And no one stopped them. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me of when uh, Benedict Cumberbatch was doing that, like, documentary on penguins and he couldn't pronounce penguins and no one said anything to him. So he says penguins, the whole documentary about penguins. Booper doop shoop doop. Pretty much, pretty yeah. much. All right, thank you guys so much <laughs> yeah, for watching. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed Carrots and Cream. And if you have any other weird games you want us to play, let us know in the comments below. Bye. 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 Hey, is butter is different for some reason? Butter shouldn't be different. You can't. Yeah, I, I loot the shit. No, you have to keep going to the left, but loot the kids. Yeah, these kids.